Hi everybody, this is Miss Lucia from the Sachem Public Library. Thank you so much for joining me today for Musical Mother Goose. We've got some rhymes that you know, some rhymes that might be new to you. Um, we're just going to have a whole bunch of fun today. So if you don't mind, get your hands ready. We're going to start off with our hello song that we do here at every program. Well, hello everybody and how are you? How are you? How are you? Well, hello everybody and how are you? How are you today? Yay! That was some good singing. All right, we're going to start off with one of my favorites, Baba Black Sheep. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Yay! Let's do that one again. <clears throat> ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Ba! <laughs> Yay! All right, our next rhyme has a little doggy in it. What does a doggy say? A dog goes, ruff, 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 ruff. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my drum with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Let's do it again. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my drum with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Yay! Good singing, everybody. Does anybody have a doggy at home? Does it look like this doggy by any chance? This doggy's got spots. We're going to say bye-bye to this doggy because we're going to move on to our next rhyme. We've got... Oh, look at this. We've got Humpty Dumpty. And what does Humpty Dumpty do? Humpty Dumpty sits on a wall. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty, oh, had a great fall. And all of the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Sorry, Humpty. <laughs> Let's do that one again. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Yay! Good rhyming. Okay. We're going to do a little song with the flannel board. And this is called Hey Diddle Diddle. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> Yay! Let's do that again. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Yay! That's a silly rhyme, isn't it? Can a cow jump over the moon? Can a dish run away with the spoon? I don't know. I don't think so. What do you think? All right. For this next one, all you're going to need is your hands. Okay? We've got Thumpkin and pointer, and middle, and ring man, and pinky. And together, they make a family. So this is how it goes. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am. Here I am. 
How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Middle? Where is Middle? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Ringman? Where is Ringman? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Pinky? Where is Pinky? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. And where is family? Where is family? Here we are, here we are. How are you today, sirs? Very well, we thank you. Run away, run away. Yay, that was some really good singing, everyone. All right. We're going to move on to the next rhyme, which has my friend Spider in it. <gasps> Look, here's a little green spider. How many legs does this spider have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, there's this eighth leg. It's got eight legs. All right. What song do we know about a spider? Hmm. Is it the Itsy Bitsy Spider? Yes, it is. All right, let's start. The Itsy Bitsy Spider crawled up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the Itsy Bitsy Spider crawled up the spout again. Yay! Let's do that again. The itsy bitsy spider crawled up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider crawled up the spout again. <gasps> Yay! Very good! Now I'm going to show you my two little friends. Look, we've got two little blackbirds. <gasps> and one. Whoa, it makes a noise. I wonder if this one makes a noise. <gasps> oh. oh my goodness. That is some loud noise, some loud cawing. So we've got two little blackbirds. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Yay! Let's do that one again. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Yay! Oh! Ah, ah, <gasps> Bye, everybody! Okay. We're going to go back to my flannel board. And we've got another rhyme. This one's called One, Two, Buckle My Shoe. We've got... One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, knock at the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. Let's do that one again. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, knock at the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. Give yourselves a hand. That was some excellent rhyming. 
All righty. Now for our next rhyme, all you need is your body. We're gonna do head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Now you can't see my knees and toes, and I can't see you or your <laughs> head, shoulders, knees, or toes, but we're gonna do this together. All right, we've got head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Now, I was touching my knees and toes, you just couldn't see it. <laughs> All right, let's do that one again. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. <laughs> Very good singing, everybody. Okay, now let's see. Who else am I going to bring out? Hmm, oh, we've got one of my favorite puppets here at the Sachem Public Library, our donkey. And what does a donkey say? Hee-haw, hee-haw. <laughs> All right, this is how this rhyme goes. Sweetly sings the donkey at the break of day. If you do not feed him, this is what he'll say. Hee-haw, 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 hee-haw. Sweetly sings the donkey at the break of day. If you do not feed him, this is what he'll say. Hee-haw, 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 hee-haw. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Okay, so we're gonna put my donkey away for now. And I would like to introduce all of you to Mrs. Honey. And I'm gonna tell you a little story about Mrs. Honey. And the story is called Mrs. Honey's Hats, okay? And I just wanna point out to you before we start the story that she's got a lot of things on her hat. She's got a bow, some feathers, some flowers, a shell, lace, and some cherries. It's a lot of things to have on a hat. <laughs> Mrs. Honey had a hat. On Monday, she wore it when she took her grandson Peter to the park. She bought him some bubblegum and sat on a bench while knitting. Peter thought, hmm, those feathers would make my arrows fly better. So he pulled the feathers off of her hat and his bubble gum stuck to the brim. But Mrs. Honey, she didn't notice. On Tuesday, Mrs. Honey wore the hat to visit her friend. They sat outside in the shade of a tree and ate cake while they chatted. Mmm, yum. Some birds flew down to pick up the crumbs. Oh, those cherries look good, they said. So they flew off with them and one little bird left some eggs behind. But Mrs. Honey, she didn't notice. On Wednesday, Mrs. Honey spent a day at the beach. The sun shone, the sand was hot, and the water was perfect. Mrs. Honey felt very happy. Afterwards, Mrs. Honey took off her hat and sat in the sun. A hermit crab thought, hmm, that shell would make a very nice home. So he scuttled away with the shell and you know what he left behind? Some seaweed, yikes. But Mrs. Honey, she didn't notice. On Thursday, Mrs. Honey picked dandelions to make some tea. It was very hard work. She took off her hat and she put it on the fence. A cow in the field saw the hat on the fence. Hmm, what beautiful big buttercups she mooed. So she took a mouthful and her bell fell onto Mrs. Honey's hat. But Mrs. Honey, she didn't notice. On Friday, Mrs. Honey went to see an old castle. Just look at those cobwebs, exclaimed Mrs. Honey. This place could do with a good cleaning. 
a big black spider dropped onto her hat. Hurrah, he said, this lace will make a good strong cobweb. So he hurried away with the lace and he left his old cobwebs ah, behind. But Mrs. Honey didn't notice. On Saturday, Mrs. Honey took her cat to a cat show. There were all sorts of fine cats, but she hoped that hers would win first prize. An alley cat saw Mrs. Honey's hat through the window. That ribbon might help me to win a prize, he thought. So he pulled it from the hat and he left, ew, some fish bones behind. But Mrs. Honey didn't notice. On Sunday, Mrs. Honey went to church. Everyone seemed to be staring at her. Whatever can it be, she wondered. Perhaps it's time that I bought a new hat. After the service, Mrs. Honey hurried home to look in the mirror. Then she noticed the bubble gum, the bell, the seaweed, the cobweb, the eggs, and those fish bones. Goodness, she exclaimed, I've got a new hat. But she wasn't sure that she liked it. The end. All right, I hope that you like that story of Mrs. Honey's hats. We are going to finish up with a little scarf song. Now, if you've ever been to any of my programs before, um, you know that one of my favorite rhymes is called Popcorn Kernels. And I'm gonna show you how we do this. And you can do this with um, your own scarf at home. All right, goes like this. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. <laughs> Yay! All right. And we're going to end off with Twinkle Twinkle. Twinkle Twinkle little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle Twinkle little star, how I wonder what you are. Yay, very good. All right, and here at the Sage and Public Library, we always end with Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. So I'm gonna give you guys a second to get up on your feet and I'm gonna tell you what to do. All right, ready? Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, turn around. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, show your shoes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, I love you. Teddy bear, teddy bear, give a jump a try. Teddy bear, teddy bear, it's time to say bye-bye. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you see me at the library, come say hello. I'd love to chat. Bye, everybody.